Hey you guys, how are you? Today I'm gonna to talk about making the most of staying at home. So whether your house is your little sanctuary or it's a little bit chaotic, we're gonna make uh, a little scenario for you to have a wonderful, fun evening at home with yourself or with a partner. So we have a lot of massage stuff going on here and spa products. And we have a couple of my favorite massage books. We have the Erotic Massage Book for Couples and the Massage Book. And this one is beautiful. This will also get you in the mood. So not only is this a great book for instructional, but it's also really fun for play. So lots of fun little inspirations here. Um, it is packed full of a lot of information and inspiration, but the book is also beautifully photographed. So it's very romantic in and of itself, get you in the mood. The massage book is also, it has Eastern and Western techniques in it. So this is a lot of different uh, techniques. It doesn't have as many pictures. It's gonna be a little bit more um, tame, but it's also really great for somebody who, maybe this is just a little bit too much of a commitment at first. And this is a really nice intro to erotic massage. And just massage in general. So that one's, uh, I think, a little less erotic than that one. So if you have a, if you need to, you know, split that up, that one's going to be uh, a little bit more in general. So anyways, our little scenario that we've got going on here is we can start off with a fantastic bubble bath. This is great, we love this. Um, this is by Sliquid. Sliquid makes a bunch of our lubes as well. And one of the reasons I love Sliquid is they're really committed to quality. So everything's BPA free, uh, it's all vegan, and no parabens or glycerins or anything like that in their products. And so bubble baths sometimes can be irritating on the lady bits. Um, just because there's lots of dyes and perfumes that can happen in bubble bath. So this is very unlikely to irritate the body because it's really designed for intimate areas and bubble bath. Um, and so there's a bunch of different scents that they have for this, but um, this one is the coconut papaya. It smells amazing. So and it's liquid again with our lube. It's a great company. We love their stuff. Um, so that's your little bubble bath. If you are not into bubble baths, we also have the bath salts. The bath salts are great. These are, God, you've seen my videos, you know I'm a huffer. I can't, I can't pass up a good smell without totally huffing it. So this is the lavender and this is the rose. All of these have, um, of course, Epsom salts and organic uh, essential oils for lavender and rose and little lavender and rose uh, flowers in there as well. So um, very romantic kind of floats on top of the tub and wonderful for sore muscles, very soothing on the body as well. Um, during or after your lovely bath, candles. Candles are a fantastic way to make the room smell amazing, brings a lot of romance. And one of the things that we always like to remind people is when, when we're looking for something new and inspirational, and really just really romantic, all of your senses come into play. So touch, taste, sight, and these are amazing with your sense of smell because these are all organic soy wax candles. So you can burn them for about uh, 20 minutes, but they're also great massage candles. So after about 20 minutes, you'll develop a nice pool of warm wax here, and then you'll be able to blow it out and pour it on to have a nice warm wax massage. So if you wanted to start the candle during a bath, and then move on to other romantic things later on. You'll already have that pool of warm wax there. Um, the other option is to light it when we've moved on uh, after the bath. And it gives you kind of a little bit of strategy if you have a partner who is enthusiastic or in a rush because you get to say things like, the candle's not ready, just relax, you know, have fun. Um, so it gives you foreplay time. The candles are wonderful. We have a couple different styles. We have this one is um, Vanilla Twilight. Oh God, they smell amazing. This one's much more uh, warm. It's kind of almost a masculine scent. And this one is a uh, cedar leather scent. Oh, it smells so good. And this one's much more floral. So this is a lavender and it is very strong on this one, um, but it's a really great lavender. So for somebody who wants uh, little bit more intense sensation go for the lavender 
If the massage candles are just too much work, then uh, but you're still looking for massage, we have all sorts of wonderful massage oils. We have hemp oil massage oils. We have uh, the Intimate Earth. These are great. These are like almond oil and sunflower oil. So all of our stuff's organic, you know, no glycerin, no parabens. We want it to be really comfortable on the body. Um, but these are beautiful massage oils. Do keep in mind, massage oils are not lubricants. So massage oils are too heavy for the body to flush out on its own and can very uh, easily irritate the lady parts if they're used as a lubricant. So we have lubricants for that, um, but these are fantastic for massage. Also, oils don't like condoms, uh, latex condoms anyways. So, you know, do also keep in mind that we're not gonna be using these uh, with condoms uh, we don't want this to touch our condoms. So we want to clean up all of that before we move on to other things. Um, clitoral stimulating gels are also a fantastic way to kind of spice up the evening and try something new. Clitoral stimulating gels are really cool. Um, they're either a super win or eh, people usually either love them or they hate them. There's not a lot in between. Some people are like, eh, I don't feel it. But I have a lot of people who absolutely adore them. And then I have other people that are like, mm, it was like my crotch was on fire, so which is never hot. So I will say though, when you are checking out your, um, your clitoral stimulating gels, what they are is a vascular dilator. So what they do is it's a gel that is, uh, brings blood to the area and opens up the little capillaries and makes it more sensitive. And for some people that's a win and for some people that's not gonna be comfortable. Every brand uses something different also to do it. I mean, they're, it's all proprietary. So what that basically means is just because you like one brand doesn't mean you're gonna like the next brand. And just because you don't like one brand doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna like the next one. So it's really, they're kind of a, Try them out, see if you like them. If you're concerned, you can always try these on your gum tissue because this is a mucous membrane and our other area is a mucous membrane. So trying out clitoral stimulating gels on your gums, if this doesn't feel good, then it might not feel good in other areas as well. So, but if all things are happy here, then all things may be happy in other places. It's just one way that you can test things out. Doesn't work for everybody, but it can be a good guide for you. Um, but I have ladies who absolutely love these and buy them all the time. They're fantastic for the people that they're a win for. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying your homes, enjoying yourselves, and enjoying your partners if you are at home with a partner. And I hope you guys are all well. Have a great day.